temperature went down to, but it was cold. Once I even get over the tree. There needs to be a lot of farming in Idaho. <laughs> It looks like a tree vomit on the left. Yeah. Looks like cows to me. It's like a tree bathed <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Boxing recreation is awesome. Well, this has slowed us right down. Soft, 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 and then tracks. And just when we thought we'd have an easy morning, we end up with what looks like 80 kilometers of pretty interesting track. What's the temperature gone to? It's about 27, it says. The air is still quite cool, though. Yeah, we're just not moving fast. A bit better. Still takes a lot of concentration, though. That's an airport, according to the map. In the middle of freaking nowhere. There's the ice cream. Babe, you're not a cow. You shouldn't be stuck. You screw you. Oh, man, they're, they're really dealing with uh, smart-ass cows. Yeah, I was like, really? Those are jumping cows they've got around here, obviously. Ah, uh, of course, the so Dalek it's, cows. It's for Daleks, yeah. Yeah. For Dalek cows. That's weird, we've got two exactly the same phones and same configuration and everything. But somebody keeps dying. So we can find all morning and now I send this just crash now. Oh, well, it's a gate, I mean, you could open it. Somebody's deliberately going to print all that off. So. And say no trespass or anything like that. Can you believe it? The first car in over 100 k's. <laughs> that was a long ass section of gravel. Oh, I can hear my balls a bit. Oh. So this is Craters of the Moon. And why I find this place interesting is because it's where they brought all the NASA guys to train for the lunar missions. How sweet is that? That's pretty damn awesome. We basically stopped to pay and she was like, no, it's okay, you guys have been through a whole lot of parks, I can tell. That's the viewpoint, I bet. <laughs> There's the viewpoint, it's up there, we're down here. Yeah, we viewed the viewpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Spaticone. Perfect grom size pods. Everybody go home so we can ride on the trails we're not allowed to. <laughs> we're at Arco, right? I think it's Arco. The hills have got big numbers written on them. It's something to do with years. Some strange reason in the middle of Idaho is a toad from a nuclear submarine. Exhibit only, no radioactive contents. Ah, scrummy. That looks good. Here comes our drinks. So this is the way to camp. Order your food and then dinner arrives on a little golf cart. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Day 37. It's taken us two hours to get organized this morning. Somebody's having a mirror of a day. I was making a noise. I just thought I didn't manage to spit on this. <laughs> nice one. Mm, we're still not a hurt. That's that we're on our way to Ketchum. Oh, it doesn't look like it's closed. Fucked up with me. Bear country. You didn't see a bear. <laughs> hey, well, that sounds did not terrible for, for two wheel drive cars in three miles. So I'm guessing the rest of the share rate. Right? Out of it. Somebody's not having a very good day. She had an off on this. I mean, come on. I don't know what the hell I did, but I kind of hit that and then pathetic. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. We could definitely spend a lot of money here, but we're not gonna. First kill of. How the hell did you hear that? Ooh, that's still okay. So after all that excitement, we decided to call the day early and find a reasonable motel. We wanted to do some maintenance on the bikes and also on the riders. Another day on the tip. Well, as soon as we get on this head because we've got to do a little bit of a bypass because of a road closure. Two weeks left, babe. 
seize at all. That's it. Easy grip, straight on. Max power. <laughs> And this is the first time we've really encountered smoke and there would be quite a beautiful view if it wasn't so much smoke in the air. Mm. That bridge was out near, what was that, Pine, was it? Yeah, the, the Pine to Featherville. Cindy's Featherville Cafe and the Featherville Saloon. Place is funky as. Back on the trail, we're going to deviate a little bit because there's a recommendation for the views. We're a bit off piste today. Mm. Riding with all, without our blue line to follow. Ooh, scary stuff. Taking the advice of locals who might just be luring us to some place where they're going to slaughter us all. Never know. a very pleasant poodle through the woods. Just wish I could enjoy it a bit more. Uh, don't eat a big lunch and get back on a bumpy road. At least I can't because ugh, I just feel green. So you're allowed to fish for brook trout but not allowed to fish for bull trout. Right, Willow Creek at campground. So we found a cool little camp spot. It's down here by lucky number seven. Is it cold? It's cold. I don't like cold water. This is a rare occurrence. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. It's cold. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Today should be our last day in Idaho. Puzzle for Vicky this morning. She's going to try and get up before she falls off the cliff. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Careful, you might fall off the cliff. Up you might, baby. There's a lot of poo coming out of it. <laughs> Trying to crash into anybody's cars or tents. I shall try not to. Time to get my daily dose of uh, vitamins and, well, minerals anyway. Yeah. I'm not going to need any mineral supplements for a long, no. long time. No, you will not. Bit of engineer porn for Vicky this morning. <laughs> it's quite cool. It's like this is a popular thing to do and where are we? Horseshoe Bend. This is a bit boring. Big Willow Creek Road closed because of big nasty hill climb. Yeah. This is not the real crossing for us, but we are in Oregano! Oregano! But we'll do it for real on the chat tomorrow. <laughs> Even Google says, welcome to Oregano. We just need a place to sleep and a decent shop with fresh fruit and vegetables. We had enough of takeaways and burgers. Oh, there's a KFC. Day 40. Back at our friendly neighborhood Walmart, because somebody left a bag of shopping at the checkout yesterday. And she insisted that we pick it up because it's critical that I have a toothbrush. Didn't want me sharing her toothbrush. Thank you, Idaho. Hello, Oregon. Oregon, yay! New state, <laughs> lost state. Man, I can't believe we got this far. Pretty damn good so far, baby. Helmets required. <laughs> our first gas station in uh, Oregon there's a weed shop over there there's one fuel pump and one two three four electric charging points <laughs> the Oregon farmers are just as friendly as the other ones oh, you guys look at such nice cattle grade oh, oh, oh. It's like luxury cattle grade. Yeah. They obviously have a competition to see who can do the smoothest cattle grade. <laughs> well done, baby. 10,000 Ks on the tap. Whee! It's only taken us 40 days to get this organized. We've got fruit and uh, chocolate mousse for morning tea. Fresh fruit. Yeah, man. Not even bruised. 10,000 Ks. Whee! And it still sounds perfect.
Then we found the hottest stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, it's only 100 odd kids to get here. Yeah, we'll be there by lunchtime. Yeah. The tat throws the prizes all day long. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, I think I need to pee again. Look, look, dust free versus dust ball. We've got like 5k of this track to do before we head back onto forest roads. And we're now in the Oregon forest. Oh, we're in a forest that happens to be in Oregon. <laughs> Like the kind of place that you would see a bear. Pretty sure they go for a nut bar, chocolate nut bar. And honey, or was that Winnie the Pooh? Uh, that's probably just Winnie the Pooh. That yeah, was quite a pleasant surprise, this little bit of road. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is going to end soon, so enjoy it while we can. Dodging rocks, dodging rocks, and not missing all of them. Uh, this wouldn't be fun in the wet, that's for sure. As you can see, this has got a lot more challenging than this morning. Ah, fuck. That I did not want to happen. <laughs> Still on the right route, are we? Yeah, yeah it looks that way. Well, this got narrow. Gum killing rocks. This is like white rim again. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Yeah, then I'm sure it's going to change. Oh, as soon as we get around the corner, it'll change. Both got pummeled asses. And my hands are vibrating. You might enjoy my hands at the moment, baby. Yeah, they're, they're good. Like, uh, yeah. vibrating. Yeah. Like one of those massage chairs. No, I was thinking something completely different. But okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're terrible. There's a bit of a nerd, it's kind of cool, but there's exactly 1,024 kilometers to go of the tet. There we go. 1,000 k's to go. 1,000, just 1,000 kilometers to go. That's sad and exciting at the same time. That was a very nice step from Austria. It's been out doing a hell of a lot of riding by the sound of it, all together. <laughs> That's awesome. Glad I said look out. This lookout is one of the lower elevation lookouts. One of the far peaks, 1400 feet higher. Long way down. Woo! Watch out for the new barrel. Free at last, baby. Dust free at last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little dinner in John Day. Playing a little town and now we're trying to find a campsite and go to sleep because we are hammered. This is tonight's classy accommodation. And a friendly warning sign from the FCC. Next time, we try some American fine dining, Vicky warms up, and I look both ways for a train. <laughs>